To love is not to possess, to own or imprison, nor to lose oneself in another. Love is to join and separate, to find a laughing freedom that lonely isolation does not permit. It is finally to be able to be who we really are, no longer clinging to childish dependency, nor docilely living separate lives in silence. It is to be perfectly oneself and perfectly joined in permanent commitment to another and to one's inner self. Love only endures when it moves like waves, receding and returning, gently or passionately, or moving lovingly like the tide in the moon's own predictable harmony. Because finally, despite a child's scars or an adult's deepest wounds, they are openly free to be who they really are and always secretly were in the very core of their being where true and lasting love can alone abide. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the wedding of Jeannie Rose Griffin and Matthew John Scott. Our two eternal optimists will today marry their hearts and their values here, bound in love. And to do so, they need you, each and every one of you, to witness, to contribute, and to celebrate accordingly. This much I know to be true. Our lives are better when we're together to embrace the greatest expression of love, saved only for days like this. Now, the Northeast Coast has been described as a widely romantic place with its contrasting landscape of adventure, marrying breathtaking beauty and harmony. It is no surprise that this is the very place where we have been gathered. I like to think that love is like the sea. It's a moving thing, but it can be still too. And it takes its shape from the shoreline that it meets. Wherever we are, there is always an invisible thread of light connecting us to those we love. Uh, never in my wildest dreams did I think I'd be loving you. Uh, Jeannie, I promise to be there through the laughs, the losses, the highs and the lows. Uh, I will always be your chest to cry on and forever your biggest fan. Uh, yeah, your grounding and deeply loving nature makes me cherish every single moment we spend together. I promise I will never take any of it for granted. I love where you are, where you've been and where you're going and I can't wait to be there for every step of the journey. I'll always value our friendship and the foundations that led us here today, from you coming for a coffee, to me coming to your yoga classes, to paddleboard and surfing, our first holiday, our soundtrack, living together, getting to know your family, getting to know you, getting to know mine, friends, dogs, booty. Uh, working together, traveling, marrying, honeymoon, and all the bits in between. Uh, all I could ever wish for is a life where you existed. All thanks to you, the movies now make sense and the songs have more meaning. That's why I'm here, standing opposite you today, vowing to love you eternally. Promise you my utmost respect and choosing to forever be on your side. Jeannie, my best friend, my soulmate, my wife, I love you. <laughs> From the moment we met in this life, I knew that we'd met before. First, we were strangers and for so long as friends, being around you was effortless and easy. When we met, I believed that love, as it had always been sold, was not meant for me. It was too complex, too damaging, and too painful. I'd resigned myself to watching from the sidelines, never able to understand the game. Now when I think about love, I think about paddleboarding and a chippy tea, watching you topple repeatedly into the sea from your offset center of gravity before you could ever finish a sentence. <laughs> I think about how not a day has gone by where I haven't belly laughed at your dance moves in the kitchen or your tongue-in-cheek country western rendition of whatever song we're currently obsessed with. When I think about love, I see the anguish in your face when you witness someone elderly walking alone with heavy shopping bags. I picture the kindness and unfaltering good in you that emanates and is felt by every person around you. 
In the time we've been together, you have guided me to the undiscovered depths of my heart by bravely revealing the depths of your own. I promise I will continue to discover and welcome every new phase of you and to cheer you along whatever new trajectory inspires your creative vision. I vow to never take myself too seriously and to always look for your temper melting side out, side eye when I'm being dramatic. <laughs> I promise to find laughter with you in the everyday mundane and to help you find the light when the world feels gray and somber. I promise to listen quietly to your soul speak with the same never ending patience you show me. I call upon our friends and family present here today to witness that I love you with everything I am. Finally, I promise to find you and choose you in every lifetime. This is a story of coffee stops and beach day mindful compassion and truly seeing someone in all of their beauty. A love story that encompasses a life where you exist. So I ask you knowing everything you do about this marvelous person in front of you and that you have still to learn. Do you wish to enter this commitment freely with your whole heart for your whole lives? I do. There are many memorable kisses in our lives, but this one is something else. You've kissed a thousand times, maybe more, but today the feeling is new as you seal your agreement to become husband and wife with a kiss. Yeah. <laughs> job today to welcome everybody to the barn on the bay so welcome to everybody on behalf of the new mr. and mrs. Scott so so I stand here hugely proud hugely proud and it is a pleasure to welcome all of Matty's family and all of Matty and Jeannie's friends at the back, who's making so much noise, and, and, and also our family as well. Um, and many haven't met each other, but I think by pies and peas tonight, you'll all have sorted that one out. Now, it's my absolute delight and privilege to say just a few words about our beautiful daughter. Jean. So, what things come to mind? Beauty, no doubt. Intelligence, empathy, passion, tremendous talent in teaching, particularly yoga, and talent in art and in music. I mean, how good is she at all of that? But she's also known for her extraordinary loyalty and her loyalty to her mates in particular. Uh, Jeannie's absolute knight in shining armor, may I say. And the result has been joyous. 
and the great happiness since you met is just there for us all to see today. So Matty, it's lovely to welcome you to the family. It was on the 5th of March, 2022. Do you remember it, Matty? Yeah. And he was wandering around the shop muttering, don't panic, don't panic. And, and he got me a great coffee, he did. He got me a lovely coffee and a lovely piece of banana cake, if you remember. And, um, and I went for the door. And I've never seen Matty move so fast. He was out of that door like a scuttle. He was really quick. And he looked cold and he looked a bit clammy. Uh, but, but he asked at that time for Jeannie's hand in marriage outside Long Horsley Village Shop. And the rest, of course, is history. to say uh, that Matty will be an absolutely fabulous husband for Jeannie and Jeannie will be a fabulous wife for Matty and we are absolutely delighted to welcome you into the family uh, Matty and Jeannie utterly beautiful today always has been and it's just an amazing amazing day that we've all had Jeannie and Matty <laughs> Thanks to Katie for stepping up and being the third member of this marriage leading up to today. Um, I feel like I'm not only marrying Jeannie, I'm also marrying you, and I'm perfectly okay with that, so there you go. Um, uh, thanks to Mike for handing over my incredibly gorgeous wife, now wife, to me. Uh, can we all just take a minute to appreciate how incredibly stunning she looks tonight? I can't believe you are real. That's what I've got written down here, and it's very true. Um, even though, like, on that day when I was at Long Horsley, when I was absolutely stinging a bacon and looking very disheveled, that you gave your daughter's hand in marriage to me. Thank you for that. Thank you to Alice and Jeannie's mum over there for giving birth to such an incredible person. Uh, I know where she gets her creativity and extensive knowledge of plants and bird noises from, which I enjoy, I find it very endearing. Now to my lovely stunning wife, as if I get to say that. Uh, it's absolutely mental. Jeannie, you really were the beam of light at the end of a pretty naff couple of years. Uh, lockdowns and the loss of my dad really took us by surprise, but with a little shimmer of light in the form of an incredibly gorgeous wise woman in need of a serious coffee fix every morning, it really softened the blow. I looked forward to seeing that face every single day, even if it was just for a brief moment. Um, and now I get to see it for the rest of my days, which is incredible. Yeah. Once we'd established a friendship based on our common grounds for yoga, spirituality, sea dips, good scran, and deep chats, I just couldn't get enough of you. Uh, I can't believe I'm here, but I also knew it was inevitable. Thank you for being my best friend. And now my wife, as if I get to say that. Pretty all right. So, thank goodness for that. Without further ado, here's to my gorgeous wife, all of you lot, and the ones that didn't make the night. Let's go. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> 